Minotaur and dead mare. Picasso paints himself as a tragic monster, half bull, half man, an ancient symbol of a creature condemned to suffer and die. Picasso, painter of holy horror. The artist is both the hand that holds and the hand that sacrifices. Picasso reminded the forgetful 20th century of horror and placed it at the center of his art. Picasso started where other artists of his day left off. Barcelona, the literary cafe, the Four Cats. The serious undertone is impossible to ignore. Picasso sketches his friends in the style of the expressionist poster artists of the time, Stein Lane and Toulouse-Lautrec. The turn of the century frivolity is not to Picasso's taste. His subject is pain. In a self-portrait painted when he was 19, he depicts himself as serious, manly, decisive, but vulnerable. Science and charity. In 1897, the 16-year-old Picasso wins a gold medal at an exhibition in Malaga. His father sits for him as a doctor. Virtuosity, strictness and tragedy link father and son even in the latter's childhood. La Coruña, the hated rainy and cold town. An impressive image of his father, a professor at the Academy of Arts, Picasso's great talent, the death of his sister Maria de la Concepcion of diphtheria at the age of eight, this is where fate runs its course. Picasso is already a master, his father leaves him his palette and brush and he uses them like a matador uses his weapons. At 14 years of age, says Picasso, I painted like Raphael. I never painted like a child. But the pain began much earlier, in Malaga, where he was born in 1881.
When he was a child, his father took him to the arenas of Andalusia, where death is challenged and fatal blows are dealt. His place of birth becomes the scene of his first conflict between animal darkness and the artist's dagger. He draws his first bullfight drawings at the age of eight. Paris, 1900. Picasso's story starts like a history of art. In La Coruña, he learned to paint like Raphael. In Paris, he learned the style of Lautrec and Van Gogh. In 1901, fate deals him another blow. Sexual and creative impotence drives his friend, the artist Casa Germain, to suicide. with the very thing that breaks Casa Germain, the masculine display of his art. The 1901 portrait of Casa Germain on his deathbed is similar to a Van Gogh. It is a portrait full of dignity. Picasso counters tragedy with a positive force of art. Blue is the color of grief. When I thought of Casa I started to paint blue. Is this frighteningly precocious child not destined to produce a masterpiece instead of living? Asks the critic Charles Maurice. With his monochrome style, Picasso finds a form to counter the gaudiness of Paris. He subjects the entire visible world to the law of the single colour. <laughs> 